Tomorrow is the National Day of Prayer, and I thought in preparation for that, just a little focus on prayer. I think it's uh, a, a, an event that's valuable every year for our nation and even anyone to go to God in prayer, but especially powerful when we all gather. And I know most of us will lift up prayers tomorrow around COVID and a cure and for those who've been impacted in any way. Uh, but I thought in preparation for that, I would uh, read a prayer that uh, Paul shared with the uh, Ephesians. For this reason, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and how long and how high and how deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all fullness of God now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us to him be the glory in the church and in Jesus Christ through all generations forever and ever amen enjoy this beautiful day God has given us and I hope that you spend some time tomorrow in prayer for all who've been impacted by COVID and for all of those who have other needs that are ongoing.